Hey friends, this is Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. Well, we're still rotating out pantry stock, so today I'm going to be making pasta freezer meals. I don't know what they're called. They're not, they're not spaghetti, they're not macaroni. It's pasta and meatballs for the freezer. <laughs> And this is what we're going to be using. Here is two packages of ground chicken and two of ground beef. Here's my um, last three organic packages of pasta from Costco. Here's my uh, spaghetti sauce I got on for a dollar. We've got dehydrated celery, dehydrated peppers. In the blender, I've got the last bit of my homemade bread and I've ground it up into breadcrumbs. I'm going to get this on cooking and we're going to make meatballs. Okay, so in Sam here, we have our two tubes of ground chicken and our two tubes of ground beef. We're going to add three cups of breadcrumbs from my homemade bread. And I've ground here... Um, dried onion and garlic powder and some salt. Now I'm just going to add a heaping teaspoon of MSG free beef soup base or OXO as some people call it. You do you. If you don't want to do that, that's just fine. Now we're going to lift him up and we're going to start him on stir while I go get the eggs. Turn it up a little bit. Just to get that well mixed in. And there it is. Okay, while our pasta is cooking, I have spread this stainless steel roaster with oil. And I'm using this baby cookie scoop. to make meatballs. There's our oven. This is going in for our freezer meals and this is going in for supper tonight. And it's a bigger one because Briar's going to be here for supper. So I'm gonna bake these at 325 degrees until they're cooked. While our meatballs are cooking, I'm gonna start grating cheese. I'm telling you folks, Sam has saved me a lot of pain. There is our cheese. Okay, before we get on to making these into meals, I gotta get supper organized. These meatballs are a little bigger, but here I have cheese, pasta, organic pasta, mushrooms, sauce and here is some celery and peppers that I just um, added some boiling water to to start them plumping before they go in. So first things first. I'm going to put some mushrooms on there and we're going to put some of our 
veggies on there because we know that juice goes down right and then I'm just going to cover this this is our bigger one because Briar is going to be here for supper tonight and this is Prego original recipe and I'm just going to drizzle this all over so that we have some kind of sauce remember the last time I made macaroni and cheese and I used a white sauce this is pasta and meatball bake and now this goes like this it's getting set aside to go in the oven for supper pasta meatball bake all right so now I'm just going to divide these meatballs seven pounds seven pounds of chicken and ground meat ground beef and I got five shepherd's pies and four pasta and meatballs as well as supper tonight this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our half acre homestead saying and that's how you make it stretch take care God bless <music>